and welcome. Today's tutorial is a little different. I had a lot of requests for how I created these paper lashes in a lot of my most recent looks. I'm gonna do a quick tutorial and show you how I did it. But first, I'm gonna do a little bit of shameless self-promotion. I started an Etsy store featuring stickers, pins, and prints of some of my past makeups. Also, there's a newsletter, so if you wanna stay up to date or get exclusive promotions, the links for the store and the newsletter are going to be in the description below. Okay, now let's get into the whole reason you clicked this video. I used to hand cut paper pieces, but now that I have a Cricut machine, this process is a lot faster. When I use sparkly paper, I get the scrapbook ones that have a texture versus glitter just adhere to the paper. It doesn't have the risk of non-cosmetic glitter being around your eyes. I take an old lash tray and add a thin strip of latex around the top edge. I like to use a toothpick or a thin tool so I have some control. Set that aside and let it dry. Peel back the excess. As you can see, the shapes are long triangular shapes. This is the shape I would cut if I was doing it by hand too. Lightly curl the pieces so that they're easier to work with. I like doing this in sets so they're similar for each side. The latex strip is dry now, so take a piece, putting a little bit of latex on the edge and carefully put it in place. I always like doing both at the same time. That way, as I trim and stagger the pieces, I know they match. Keep repeating this and using different lengths. Also, tweezers are handy in case you have to adjust any of the pieces. I cut three different sizes, but I do trim them when needed, especially as you get closer to the inner parts of the eye. Also, cut two at a time for symmetry gradually getting shorter as they go in. Add some even longer ones at the ends for some more drama, and that's basically the base. Now start to layer and overlap them how you want them, adding longer pieces in certain areas if you wanna make an interesting shape. Just doing it on both sides to keep them even. Now that we're happy with them, take some latex and run it carefully over the edge, and this will reinforce them. While that dried, I did make a lower lash set. The strip is shorter and the pieces are sparser. Once the latex is dry, I like to go over with some Beta Bond Plus or Prosade, going over the latex and onto the paper. This will make sure that the pieces will hold on better. I've used slicker paper that may not grab to the latex that well. This step will help keep them in place no matter what paper. Also did these steps on the lower set. Let them dry and take some powder so the glue won't be sticky. To remove them, I like to push down to pull the latex away from the plastic. This way you aren't putting much strain on the set trying to peel them off for the first time. As you can see, the strip is mostly released from the plastic and carefully peel them off. Then add some more bends to give them a nicer curve. The lower lashes are much more delicate because the gaps between each piece. The uppers are much more durable because they're overlapping the paper. Doing the same thing to remove them starting at the middle and working out to each end. And there you go. And you have fun paper lashes. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so so you can see more fun makeups and tips. And I'll see you next time.